In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Subtitles 2 from SugarFX. Subtitles is a powerful effect that allows you to add subtitles to your finalized project. It's capable of handling different languages and fonts, as well as the ability to import several subtitle format files. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Subtitles also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro as well. You can find it in the Effects browser under SugarFX Subtitles. I've finished production on my film, so this is the perfect time to create or add subtitles. If you don't have a final render of your movie quite yet, I recommend you create a compound clip or embedded project composition first, just as I have here. I'll drag subtitles to my compound clip. You'll notice right away that most everything can be configured for your subtitles right from the viewer with the on-screen controls. The info button is enabled by default. It provides information about the subtitle data encoded that is being displayed in the timeline and helps the identification of possible typographical errors, timecode mismatches, or misplacement of subtitles. When the info button is on, an overlay is displayed with the approximate running time code, the current frame in time, the total number of subtitles decoded, the raw in and out timecode data for the previous, next, and current subtitle, and the corresponding subtitle text. First, you need to select the subtitle format. Subtitles provides six format options. One of them is the widely popular SubRip Subtitles format. If you already have the subtitles created in this format, usually done with a special application or provided by a subtitle provider, go ahead and select this option. If you prefer to use your own format, select the User Timecode option. If you want to create the subtitles from scratch using Final Cut Pro, select the corresponding Final Cut Pro version format. At any time, you can click the SugarFX logo in the parameters to bring up the user manual that will help explain how to set up the different formats. I've already entered a few markers in the timeline with the subtitle text information, so I'm going to select the option to import the markers using Final Cut Pro 10. By using this format, SugarFX subtitles will take the exported marker information and use it to burn the subtitles. Remember that you can import this data using any of the host applications supported by subtitles. The process of creating your subtitles using this marker method is pretty simple. The blue markers in the timeline are standard markers that I've been using to set the location where I want each of the subtitles to appear. To create these markers, I just hit play from the beginning of the timeline, and where the playhead reaches the point where there's some dialogue, press the Option key and the letter M on your keyboard to make a marker. The playback stops, and you can type the subtitle text in the space provided. Hit play again, and do the same for the following subtitles. The standard markers will use an automatic duration when imported into the subtitles effect. However, if you prefer to set the exact duration before you export the data, simply right-click on the blue marker and change it to a chapter marker. The chapter marker has a different color and pin. Use the offset pin and position it to set the end of the duration for this subtitle. Just make sure that it doesn't overlap the next subtitle. You can combine standard and chapter markers in your timeline, and you can always modify the markers at a later time if changes or corrections are necessary. When you're finished creating your markers, go to the File menu and select Export XML and save the file using the General Metadata view. Next, find the file, change its file extension to .txt, and accept the warning. Back in Final Cut Pro, Select the SugarFX Subtitles effect, make sure that it's using the correct format, and click the Edit Text button to import our exported file. When you click OK to accept, your movie should have the subtitles placed accurately on the timeline. To change the text appearance, use the Text Setup parameters that allow you to change the text color, alignment, spacing, and more. The on-screen controls allow you to change the font settings and position your subtitles anywhere. As you can see, SugarFX Subtitles is a powerful tool that provides the ability to import several formats, providing controls to add, create, or import thousands of subtitles in a straightforward fashion, making this process for filmmakers as simple as possible. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.